Welcome to another fish base fly box fly tying tutorial. Tonight I'm going to be tying a clouser minnow. What I have on the vise is a U301 hook by Umquat, the size 2. And what I'm going to use for thread is some UTC 210 white. And I want to start the thread about half an inch from the hook eye. And I'm just going to build a nub right there. And I'll cut the uh, Tag into the thread off, and I'm going to take some 732nd inch dumbbell eyes. I'm going to put it right up against that nub. Oops. I'm going to put them right up against that nub, and we're going to tie it in. A couple across there, a couple across there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under, over the hook, under the under the eye, over, under, all over, just a few times, and then cross wraps again and then what I'm gonna, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thread I'm going to build a small thread body to the eye and I'm going to bring it back to about halfway between the eye of the hook and the actual dumbbell eyes. Now I'm going to take some white bucktail and I want to measure it. I want it to be about two to two and a half lengths so that's about where it needs to be and I'm just going to trim up the edges and I'm going to take it and the, the end right the end the bottom of the bucktail I want to be lined up where my thread is so I'm going to take it and put it right about there actually I kind of want to straighten those out a little bit and then do a couple of light wraps and then bring it up and I'm going to hold up my finger so it doesn't drift and then I'm going to a little bit a few loose hairs here pull out of there and I'm going to just tie that down okay at this point I'm going to take and I'm going to grab my Bob, my thread, I'm going to go behind the eyes, now around the, right behind the eyes and around the bucktail, hold the bucktail at a 45 degree angle, and do that a couple times, then just bring it down and cinch it down good. And then I'm going to take and just bring that lost it, so I'm going to bring it back up, hold it at a 45 degree angle, and bring it around holding that bucktail up like so. And I'm going to bring it to about the hook point. Then I'm going to bring it back across and back down the hook, length of the hook and that's my belly. I'm going to bring it back over here and bring it to the eye, bring it to the eye of the hook. Then I'm going to turn my vise upside down and if you don't have a rotary vise you're obviously going to have to invert that. I'm gonna take some crystal flash. I've got four. I got about eight to ten strands of. That's what you want. I think I got about ten strands here of uh, crystal flash, and I have is fluorescent orange for this particular fly. And you want to make it so that the crystal flash extends about an inch past the bucktail. And so you're gonna measure that. And if I fold it over the thread here, and then bring it to the where the to the uh, eye of the hook and just hold it there almost straight up and just wrap it down until you get to that point half that halfway point between the eye and the eye of the hook and then I'm going to take and I'm going to use the hook point and divide these strands up strands of crystal flash up and lay them along the side bottom of the hook there and now I'm going to take some more bucktail and this bucktail is chartreuse in color and what I did for the belly is I measured it to be about a little less than a half of a the diameter of a pencil and for this chartreuse bucktail I went just a little bit wider than that now I need to measure it and make sure it's about going to be about the same length and that is about the same length as those as that white bucktail so I'll take it and I'll put it right there at that um, point where the 
fly is, I mean where the thread is, and I'm going to tighten it down there. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to make sure it doesn't get on the side there. And we'll build this ahead. Okay. Got ourselves a cone shaped head, and there's going to be some fibers that don't um, take. And we're going to take it, the bucktail, and divide it in half with a hook point. And right there. And then, if you notice on this fly, well, let me put finish first. I'll show you what I'm going to show you. I'll we'll finish the fly. Cut the thread. And now, if you notice on this fly, there's a little um, triangular shape right in the air. And this triangular shape, I think, helps with the action of the fly. So try to keep it in there. Um, I noticed a lot of people when they tie this, they tie this knot all the way up to the back behind the eye. And that's not the way it was intended to be tied. I mean, you could tie it that way if you want, but that's not the way that that uh, I understand the, this fly to be intended to be tied. Um, but like I said, you can do however you want. And now I've got to this point, I'm going to take some. Um, clear cure you hydro and I'm going to coat the head of the fly with it as a head cement and I'm also going to coat the body of the fly with it let that soak in oh, don't forget the belly This fly is not that complicated to tie, it's just there's some a few minor details and never know if you're going to have enough, if you've taken too much bucktail for it or not enough bucktail for it, it just depends on your preference. Um, and then the uh, that little triangle by the front of the eye there. Okay, and there is the Clouser Minnow. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like Fish Base Fly Box on Facebook, subscribe to Lance Dean's YouTube channel, and to stay up to date with Fish Base Fly Box by subscribing to Fish Base Fly Box at www.fishbaseflybox.com. Thank you. Have a nice night.